Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this of course is the Mandelbrot set. It goes on for infinity. Just take a look at it, it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know about it, but a lot of people don't know about it, I realized. And it's basically just a mathematical um, formula that allows um, for these kinds of patterns. I'm not going to go into how it works, you can YouTube some videos on that. But it literally goes on forever and ever, um, showing kind of the pattern in nature. Um, and there's a lot of cool apps on the iPhone, of course, that you can get to, you know, reenact that thing. It's pretty awesome. Y'all should go to my favorites, because my favorites are just kind of all over the place. If you don't like my videos, that's fine. But check out my favorites, because it's a kind of a little bit different than what I normally uh, get into. Um, like, as you can see, I'm really getting into Gematria right now. Um, I mean, not Gematria, like actual physics and light. I've been in the Gematria for like four years. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of just cool physics and philosophy videos in my favorite. This is a scene in Pi, which basically got me into mathematics and Gematria. And the weird thing is, is that I'm only getting into science because of all the codes that the Bible hides. Um, for instance, <clears throat> this doesn't have to do with the Bible, but this is like a, a spiral way to view the periodic table of elements. I've kind of gone into this before. If you look at the normal periodic table of elements, it's kind of um, limited. It doesn't look too uniform. It's just some boxes and rows. But if we look at it in a spiral form, it makes much more sense. And that's, of course, how the ancients um, would look at it, too, I think. Um, let's see here. I posted some notes I did in college a while ago. Um, so I have a book called uh, Deciphering the Cosmic Co uh, Number, and it's about the number 137 and Carl Jung and uh, Pauli, the physicist being obsessed with that number and what it really means. And of course, I, I look at it and it's basically all about how the, well, the, the spirituality behind 137. And the physics behind it, and it's incredible. But what I really want to show you guys is that if you look at my YouTube, I have a uh, a video called "Page 210 Hides," you know, stuff about me because 210 is my birthday, right? And I've always seen throughout time how the page 210 in some of my favorite books hides codes for me. So what is the number 137 book uh, hide on page 210? Nietzsche's Superman, right there. And at the bottom, it talks about uh, Carl Jung's book, Synchronicity, which is the exact book where he talks about astrology. So page 210 of the 137 book, combining it with physics and, and um, God, talks about Nietzsche Superman, which I'm obsessed with Nietzsche and the only person who realizes he's the great disappointment cure of 1844, and astrology on the bottom with Jung's synchronicity. So that's my life. You know, my life is one big synchronicity in this YouTube channel. Um, is here to kind of, uh, you know, record it. And this is a, a book I released in uh, 2011. It's basically a couple essays I did, plus the Nietzsche is Antichrist proof, plus a dialogue with uh, Oscar Wilde and Frederick Nietzsche. If you want to get the hard copy, it's 13 bucks on this site, lulu.com. If you want to get the the ebook for only 5 bucks, it's on there too. I highly recommend it kind of shows where uh, I came from. This is the book, by the way, by Arthur L. Miller, Deciphering Cosmic Number. It's really, really good. Um, I thought this was kind of funny. And God said Maxwell's equations, and there was light. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Then again, we are finding, you know, the fine structure constant in the name of God. And I'll go back to that in case you forgot. Um, where's the pie? Here we go. The name of God, yud heh vav He, um, is actually a mathematical formula of, of pi times 7 and pi raised to the 7th. So pi times 7 divided by pi raised to the 7th is uh, the fine structure constant, 0 0.00728. And then just reverse it, pi raised to the 7th divided by pi times 7 is 137, the inverse of the fine structure constant. So we are finding the laws of physics in the Bible. And so that's ironically why I'm getting into science, is because of God. And if you don't think that's weird, well, take a look at this. Jack Nietzsche, he died August 25th, 2000. Frederick Nietzsche, 
died August 25th, 1900. The only two famous Nietzsches in the entire world die exactly a decade apart to the day. So there is a meaning to reality. Some of it's Illuminati plan and some of it is just God showing his signature. Um, you know, like speaking of God's signature, this is the first name of God ever used in the Bible, Elohim. And so if you get the gematria of it and take off the zeros, it's 41531, but then just place the 3 and the 1 at the beginning, then it's 31415, as this shows. So, I mean, it, it's it, you can't not find this stuff anymore, okay? So my mission is to just keep going forward and uniting science with faith using math and spirituality and logic and the numbers that God literally gives us right here, like Jesus Christ hiding the golden ratio. I mean, this isn't a coincidence, y'all. There's meaning to life. Anyway, y'all have a good one. <clears throat> Just trying to show people different ways to kill time. And one way to kill time is to, I don't know, figure out the meaning of life. Because since you're never going to figure it out, it's going to take a while. So there's there's what you should kill time with.